we're now joined by UFC light heavyweight Ike Villanueva, and we'll take our first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with K Tide Press. Hello, Ike. How are you? Oh man, doing good, man. Still trying to get adjusted out here in Abu Dhabi, but so far so good. I mean, yeah, first trip to Fight Island. I'm sure you've heard everybody and their mom talking about how hospitable they are and everything. How's the experience lived up to your expectations? And it's incredible. Well, man, the way they're treating us out here is like, it's amazing. I mean, it's been like top notch. It's a five star hotel. It's beautiful. Just the scenery all, all together, man. It's been, oh, man, it's been great so far, man. Now, so far in the UFC, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have not had the experience of fans for either of your fights, right? Yeah, yes, sir, man. No fans at all, man. So I'm excited for this opportunity to, you know, come out with the crowd. I feed off that. So I'm looking to turn some things around come Wednesday night. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you're going to have the crowd back. I mean, obviously, it's a big deal for any fighter to get to the UFC, you know, and the big show and everything. Because you haven't had that fan experience, does it feel like you're finally going to get that, I guess, that whole thing, that whole part of it that you've been waiting for because now finally there will be a crowd for a UFC fight for you? Oh, no doubt, man. I look forward to it. It's like, man, yeah, you have dreams about stuff like this, man. You need the arena, all the lights, man. You want everybody to see you, man. So I know that everybody will be watching, you know, man, just having the crowd there. It's amazing. You know, I'm excited. My final question, just your thoughts on Vinicius Moreira as an opponent and how you think this fight plays out? Uh, man, he had, he had a rough you know, rough start, you know, 0-3. I mean, this is a classic, you know, grappler versus striker. Uh, I know the game plan. He, he probably knows the game plan. I know what he's going to do, try to take me down. Hey, man, my job is to stop it and uh, put my hands in his face. You know, I look forward to doing that, you know, getting my hand raised in the night Wednesday. So, hey, this could be a... It's going to be a crowd pleaser fight, man. I'm not going to let the crowd down. I'm going to put it on the show. That's what I do. And uh, it's time to make a statement. No, I belong here. I got to show the world I belong here Wednesday night. Okay, thank you, Ike. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thanks. We'll take our next set of questions from Jordan Ellis with Low Kick and the Night. Hi, Ike. How are you doing? Hey, how you doing tonight, brother? Good. Um, so I just want to get your thoughts on 2020. Obviously, it was a, a good year in that you, you signed to the UFC and, you, and you're back on the you're on the big show. Um, but in the cage, it didn't actually go your way. So how do you look, when you look back at 2020, how, how do you view it? Man, flush that down the toilet, man. Forget about that. Yeah, flush it. It's just, it's just, it was just garbage. It wasn't me. Hey, as a fighter, you got to shake that thing off, man. You can't let it hold you down because some fighters, you know, it'll, it'll haunt them. And I had to wash it away because I know I ain't that fighter. I took a short notice fight against Chase Sherman. I had to. I got in the door. Uh, Chase Sherman tested positive. Hey, man, so no contest. George Gonzalez, another point that I had. He tested positive from steroids. Then I fought Jordan Wright on a three days notice. Hey, man, uh, it is what it is, man. Shake it off. And uh, I know I'm, I'm better than what I showed. And I got to show that Wednesday night, man. So, like I said, 2020, man, flush that, man. Let's bounce back 2021 and start the year off right. Yeah, and how does it um, feel to have, you know, a full camp uh, being, being a 205 against an opponent who is, um, you know, he's on a down slide at the minute? How do you feel coming into this one? Oh, man, I felt great, man. Uh, my manager, Jason House, man, he's amazing. So he, he hit me up with this fight back in October. To have a full fight camp, you know, really has been amazing because you don't get that opportunity during the COVID era. You know, hey, man, you get three weeks, four weeks, you know, you got to fight. But then I had a full camp. I'm very excited for it, man, to show what I can do, man. Uh, I didn't get the chance to go to the Shrink Couture this fight, so I had to stay back home in Houston with uh, Coach Bob Perez at Main Street Boxing. <laughs> Four-ounce fight club with Daniel Pineda. But they brought some big guys in to train with me, so I'm excited. I got to show, you know, what I can do Wednesday night. And on fight night, uh, is the game plan to go out there and try and finish this one quick? Because I know coming into the UFC, you, you had a, a run of first-round knockouts. Obviously, Vinicius has be, has lost a few times on the bounce by first-round uh, KO as well. So how, how do you see this one playing out? Oh, no doubt, man. It's right up my alley, man. That's it. And I put it on a show, get him out of there quick, man. Everybody's here to put on the show. Uh, Abu Dhabi, they want to see they want to see crowd pleasing fight, man. So I ain't gonna bore them. I'm gonna put my hands in his face and get him out of there quick. And that's the goal. So hey, let's see what he can do when hurricanes come. Okay, good luck with that. Thanks for asking me questions. Thank you, brother. We'll take our final set of questions from Corey with UFC.com. Okay, I'm actually. Uh, Robert. Um, can you just go look in the camera? Yes, sir. 
Um, so, you know, coming off these two losses in a row, do you think that, would you say that puts any added pressure on you to go out there and make a big statement on Wednesday night? Oh, man, no doubt, man. Uh, from Texas, man, uh, hard-hitting Mexican. We do everything the hard way. So, I hey, shit, man, I got to come out. Pressure's on me, man. It's my game seven. But give me the ball. I got the ball. I got, I got a chance to make some plays, man. So, here we go, man. I'm, here's my shot. And uh, I'm going to show the world I belong here. And, uh, hey, man, let's make a statement. I know you said that you, uh, you're hoping to go out there and finish them quick. But what type of fight are you expecting? Um... You know, a lot of guys, uh, he'll come out. He wants to push the guy to the fence, man. So I look, I think he's going to come out. He's going to try to pressure me. He's, uh, he's going to try to take center of the cage. Uh, I think he's pulling guard. He's, if you feel my pressure, I think he's going to pull guard because obviously the takedowns didn't work the past couple fights on him getting the guys to the ground. So he might pull guard. And we're expecting that. Hey, wherever it goes, man, my job is to put my hands in his face and just keep him busy, man. Just. He's tended to the, you know, the boxing part, man. So he's real and like Frankenstein style, you know, that's that's the style, man. So I just gotta put my hands in his face and use my boxing and uh make it a rough night for him. I know you said you got a full training camp this time. What would you say is the most significant thing that you took away from the camp? Oh man, just getting that fire back, you know, really uh got something to prove here, man. Uh it's just been amazing. Uh the camp back at home, everybody back home, man. Just, just really pushing me. Uh, coaches, you know, tell me, hey, man, time to make a statement. You belong here and uh, show the world, man. But having a full fight camp is uh, motivating. Uh, long nights. Uh, man, missing time away from my family. But, you know, that's what fuels me to do what I do. So I'm excited to put on a show and make everybody proud back home. Now, I know you fought with in, in a, with no fans. And now we're going back to having fun. This be, uh, how do you think that's going to play out? Yeah, for me, man, I feed off the crowd, man. That's my excitement uh, coming out, seeing the crowd, getting the crowd jumping. Uh, for some fighters with anxiety, they can't deal with the fans. And they like to lay back home in Vegas with no crowd. I mean, that, I, it bothers me. I can't do that. Being in a room, just, just a couple of uh, the announcers, it, that's not the style of fight. It's like a sparring match almost, like you're going to the gym. You, know, you got to perform, no excuses. But, man, you get the crowd there, you get the Milwaukee music, man, I just start, yeah, I hit that switch better. So uh, it's something I'm getting adjusted to, but the crowd coming back, and I look forward to it. Man, I'm excited for this opportunity, especially with the crowd. That's a nice segue. My last question, um, you know, once you hear your music start, you're about to make that walk. What do you think is going to go through your head before you get to go? Years of hard work. Everything, all the doubters, all the naysayers, <laughs> all, of my, all my keyboard warriors on Twitter just talking bad about my career in 2020. I'm going to flush that all down the drain come Wednesday night and uh, just keep leaving speeches and show them I belong here, man, because I got to make a statement, and it's my time to shine. And uh, it's crazy. I had to come all the way across the world to get my first win, and I'm going to get it Wednesday night. Awesome. Well, good luck to you. Thank, hey, you, so thank you so much. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you. Perfect.